Are you interested in the world of high-ticket dropshipping? If so, you've come to the right place. Over the past few years, high-ticket dropshipping has gained a lot of attention. Some people swear by it as a way to make big profits, while others say it's too risky or even a scam. So who's right? In this go-to guide, we're putting high-ticket dropshipping under the microscope. We'll explore all there is to know about selling high-ticket items, including the possibilities, the risks, and whether or not it's right for you. Get ready to have your brain bursting with knowledge about high-ticket dropshipping. So let's jump in and get started. Also, the subscribe button is right there if you want to go ahead and click on it so you don't miss out on any of our new updates. So what exactly is high ticket drop shipping and how does it differ from traditional drop shipping? Well, most traditional drop shipping focuses on selling impulse buys that are typically low priced and have a low profit margin. Think fidget spinners or posture braces. On the other hand, high ticket drop shipping involves selling items that can cost anywhere from $100 to 10 thousand dollars or even more. Think electric bikes or industrial machinery. This distinction matters because it has a huge impact on the way that you're going to run your business. Your marketing strategy, product sourcing, and customer service will all look different with a high ticket dropshipping store. We'll dive deeper into that later in this video. But for now, let's focus on understanding what high ticket dropshipping is all about, starting with some pros and some cons. Let's start with the benefits of high ticket dropshipping. One major advantage is the potential for higher profits per sale. For example, if you're selling a home cinema kit for $500 with a 30% margin, you'll make a profit of $150 per sale. Compare this to selling a t-shirt for $20 with the same margin, and you're looking at a profit of $6 per sale. This means that you'll need to sell 25 t-shirts to make the same profit as selling an at-home cinema kit. Another benefit is the potential for lower volume of customer support. That's because with high-ticket dropshipping, you'll likely have fewer orders, which means that you won't have to dedicate as much time and effort into customer support compared to a traditional high-value, low-margin dropshipping store. Basically, the less customers, the less complaints. This frees up more time to work on other elements of your business without having to sacrifice your quality of customer support. High ticket dropshipping also allows for more tailored marketing efforts. With a small selection of high ticket items, you can focus your marketing more closely and target specific buyer personas, making it easier to optimize your paid advertising and offer customers a more compelling shopping experience. Finally, high ticket dropshipping can be a more sustainable business model model. While traditional dropshipping relies on jumping from one trend to another, high-ticket dropshipping typically relies on selling less trendy products, which means you'll face less competition and can focus on building a brand and customer base for the long term. Now, let's look at some of the drawbacks of high-ticket dropshipping. One major drawback is the potential for higher startup costs. You'll need more money to invest in a high-quality store design, a larger advertising budget due to the higher acquisition costs and cash reserves to purchase those high ticket items when you make a sale. High ticket dropshipping also carries more risk with each order. If a $2,500 restaurant appliance doesn't arrive, it's a much bigger issue than a $15 phone case that's been lost in transit. As the potential profit increases, so does the potential for losses when things go wrong. Selling high ticket items can also be quite difficult for beginners as it requires a much more sophisticated marketing approach. People don't usually buy a $6,000 fishing boat after seeing a Facebook ad. So you'll need to map out your customer journey and market to them accordingly. High ticket dropshipping can be more time consuming compared to low ticket dropshipping. You'll need to do more research to find reliable suppliers, negotiate better terms, and handle any issues that might arise. So it's really important to weigh the pros and cons before deciding if high ticket dropshipping is in fact right for you. Now, if you have decided that high ticket dropshipping is in fact for you, the question is, how do you find those lucrative high ticket items. Now, before we dive straight into the steps, it's important to follow these three preconditions when it comes to selling high ticket items. Focus on quality, use premium shipping, and always vet your suppliers. With that in mind, let's go through the six steps to finding 
high-ticket dropshipping products. First off, brainstorm. Think about what high-ticket items you might want to sell. It is your business after all. The next step would be to examine what's popular. Look at the types of products that people are buying on Amazon's bestseller page and consider whether you can dropship similar items. Also, study hobbies. Think about the equipment and supplies that people who are passionate about their hobbies might be willing to spend money on. Check out social shopping sites. Browse Pinterest and look for items that you could sell in various specific niches. Think about business to business. Consider the types of equipment that businesses, and not just individual buyers, might be interested in purchasing. Also, validate your ideas. Use Google Trends to check the search volume for each product and see if there's even sufficient demand. So let's walk through an example of finding a high ticket dropshipping item using these steps. Using Amazon's best sellers, we found a telescope ranked number two in the camera and photo category. On AliExpress, we found a similar product for $100 cheaper. Then using Google Trends, we checked the search volume for telescope and saw that it has solid search volume over the past five years. Plus, it's even seen a slight increase in the last 12 months. Based on these findings, this product would definitely be worth considering if you're thinking about testing out a product for your store. Keep searching like this until you have a solid list of products that are worth testing in your store. So what other kind of high ticket items are out there just waiting to be sold in your high ticket dropshipping store? Lucky for you, I have some pretty nifty examples. First up, we have induction cooking appliances. Demand for these appliances is on the rise, but the shipping from some suppliers can be quite high, making it difficult to profit from them individually. To get around this, you could consider finding a local supplier or ordering in bulk from Alibaba and use a third-party warehouse solution. Next, we have air fryers. The high demand for these products makes them an excellent option for drop shipping. You can find suppliers on AliExpress with warehouses in both the US and Europe, which means shorter delivery times for your customers. However, you will be fighting with established brands in the kitchen space. So you're gonna need to find a good way to differentiate yourself from the others. For example, can you beat them on price? Maybe you can run ads to a free downloadable air fryer recipe book. And then you can market your air fryer to leads who sign up. Can you target a specific market segment like athletes, for example? You're gonna need to get creative and think outside of the box to find ways to outperform existing players. Massage guns are another great high ticket item to consider. If you're into sports, you've probably already heard about this product, but a quick look at the search data shows that there is still high demand for massage guns. With top of the line massage guns retailing for $200 to $300, there's plenty of room to enter the market with a more affordable offer. Just be prepared to offer assistance to customers who might need help with this more technical item. And finally, robot vacuums are still growing in popularity and are likely to continue to grow in popularity due to their convenience. You know, since people are lazy. Top of the line robot vacuums retail for over a thousand bucks. So there's plenty of room to make a nice profit margin. Remember, when it comes to high ticket items, it's not just about finding a good product. It's about finding the best way to market that product. So think about how you can stand apart from your competition and get super creative with your marketing. As you probably know, drop shipping is a fulfillment method Method that allows you to sell items without actually holding them in your inventory. So the question is, where do you find suppliers for your high ticket dropshipping items? Well, there are a few key things to look for. First and foremost, you want to ensure that they have a proven record of good service with positive reviews and testimonials. Communication is also crucial. Make sure they speak your language and are able to respond quickly to any inquiries. And finally, it's essential to find a supplier with impeccable quality control. That way you can ensure that you're only selling the highest quality products to your customers. Okay, now that you have all of that in mind, here are a few places that you might wanna start your search when looking for high ticket suppliers. One option is AliExpress, a marketplace with suppliers for almost 
every type of product out there. Another option is Spocket, a platform that connects you to thousands of US and EU based suppliers for a small monthly fee. And finally, you can consider using print on demand companies like Printify, which will allow you to upload custom designs and print them on various products, which you can then sell for a huge markup on your store. So you know what you want to sell and you know who you're getting it from. How do you set up shop? Well, there are a couple of things here that you're going to want to consider when setting up your high ticket dropshipping business. And our first tip is premium branding. If you want to get customers to spend a lot of money on your store, you need to inspire trust. And this means having a professional and luxurious brand. Take a look at Warmly Decor, a high ticket dropshipping store that does a great job with their branding. Notice how their website looks polished and high-end due to well-written copy and beautiful images. This all helps to give the buyer confidence that they're dealing with a reputable company, which is crucial when it comes to high-ticket purchases. Tip number two, use professional photography. Product photos are crucial when it comes to any online store, but they're especially especially important when it comes to high ticket items. A whopping 75% of online shoppers rely on product photos when deciding to make a purchase. So having eye-catching photos is a must. Most suppliers will send you photos, but it's a good idea to hire a professional photographer and take your own shots of the product. This will ensure that your products look the best and it sets you apart from competition who didn't bother to order a sample and take pictures themselves. Tip number three, offer incredible customer support. When people are spending a lot of money, they expect top-notch service. This means being quick to respond to customer inquiries, proactively reaching out to customers to ensure their satisfaction, and updating them about their order status. If a customer is dropping $8,000 on a commercial oven, they do not want to wait three days to hear back from customer service. So you need to go above and beyond to provide them with excellent care because that's how you're going to get your customers to come back for more. So you found your product and you set up your store. It's time for marketing, my friends. One of the most popular methods for marketing drop shipping stores is, you guessed it, social media. And yeah, our favorites like Facebook or Instagram are pretty good for those low ticket impulse buys. But what about those high ticket items. This is where PPC shopping ads come in. Google or Microsoft Bing ads are the perfect place to be advertising high ticket items. That's because people searching for these items are considered qualified customers. So instead of trying to target people who might be interested in your product, putting it above an internet search puts your product straight into the laps of people looking to buy it. If you don't have the budget for ads right now, then you absolutely need to focus on search engine optimization. This is about optimizing your store to rank organically on Google. Basically what this means is when people search for terms related to your products, that your store will show up on the Google results first page. Getting your store's SEO right is super important because it can get you tons of free traffic. Luckily, Reconvert CEO Eric has made a video entirely on how to boost your store's SEO. You can check it out right over here. Also, if you're interested in how you can get more profit from your high ticket dropshipping store, including some great examples of really successful high ticket stores, I'm going to go ahead and link our blog post on that below. Make sure to check it out. I'm hoping that by now you have a better idea of what it takes to open a high ticket dropshipping store. Just remember to focus on reliable suppliers, premium branding, excellent customer support, and of course, marketing. If you have all that in mind, then my guess is you're pretty good to go. We have a ton ton of great videos on dropshipping, feel free to check some of them out right over here. See you later.